Division announcing in the army. I mean, maybe they should. You never know. Well, now it's time for tonight's lecture, and we go over uh, to the to that Attenborough Museum to join David Science, an ordinary saucer of rancid milk, a perfectly ordinary, everyday saucer of rancid milk. And yet, this quite ordinary saucer, a perfectly unexceptional, everyday, ordinary, rancid milk may provide the key, albeit quite accidentally, to one of the great scientific questions still left unanswered. Is life, as we know it, possible on James Burke? Or, to put it another way, is it always absolutely necessary to try and put it another way? And this is where our ordinary saucer of rancid milk comes in. Thank you. Because surely anyone who can get so excited about a perfectly ordinary saucer of rancid milk is no ordinary man. Hello again. A perfectly ordinary looking chair. Or is it? Yes, it is, and I'm going to sit on it. There, that's better. Tonight, we're going to take a look at one of the oldest problems. Tonight, we're going to take a look at one of the oldest problems on television, James Burke. And to that end, we've had to build, especially here in the studio, this larger than life size mock up of James Burke. And we're going to take a look at it to see just what makes the Burke tick. Well, I'm standing at the moment inside the James Burke mock-up. This is where James would keep normally most of his intestines. And I'm going to see if I can crawl through now past his liver. And you can see that there's just enough room to crawl through and into the enormous stomach. A very impressive sight. Ah. Uh. Fascinating thought. Another fascinating thought is spoon bending. Just think what positive, crucial advantages this holds for science. Now, another fascinating subject is Yuri Geller bending. And tonight, we're going to look at a man in Harlesden who claims that he can bend or break. Yuri Geller without even touching him. Well, Mr. Fledger, what is your special power? Well, I can, by exerting my willpower, cause Yuri Geller to bend over great distances. Really? Yes. At the moment, he is in America, and uh, I will just concentrate. And there he's starting to bend, and there he's thoroughly bent. Well, I'm afraid we tested this theory of Mr. Fletcher's, but I'm afraid he didn't make Yuri Geller curl up half as much as Yuri Geller makes us curl up. Huh? I wonder if there's any chance of getting out of here. I seem to be caught in his kidneys. Here's another hoary old one, the perpetual motion machine. And I wish I'd been given a fee, 
for every time I've seen this one. But, in fact, I have, and it does seem to work. All you have to do is take one old adenoidal television presenter plus one old program and you can make it run on and on and on forever. Strange, but it does seem to work as you'll be able to see again and again and again on this program. So, good night. Well, there you have it. On the one hand, a perfectly ordinary saucer of rancid milk, and on the other, a perfectly ordinary James Burke. Scientifically unlikely, sociologically disastrous, and yet statistically accurate. Well, next week, I shall be in a box at the Natural History Museum, and so somebody else will be here to do the program. So until then, good night. Um, <clears throat> uh, that's the end of this program. Look, he's gone away now. It's the end of the program. It's, it's finished. Look, look, you really ought to stop. I mean, he's gone home now. He's gone. That is the end of the program. It's finished. This man has a very interesting job. This man is the caretaker. It's a pretty poorly look, paid stop kind this, of a job. Please. He has to clear away after the lectures. Look, and just sort of get out and leave me alone, will you? The sort of things that he has to pick up after the This lectures. is an invasion of my privacy. No, 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 of course it isn't. All we want to do is to talk about your Get off, life. will you? What makes this man so suspicious of answering questions on Look, the film? Look, please, just go away and leave me alone. The show is over. Can't you understand? Why is he so reluctant to answer a few simple Look, questions about his way of life? I have finished. He's finished. The, the theatre, the lecture room, is finished. It's all empty now. Will you please go away? It's the kind of suspiciousness... It's an absolute invasion of my privacy, as I've said before. And as I said before, my dear fellow, it's Can't not an invasion just... of your privacy. Now, come back. Don't be silly. I mean, we're from the BBC. Will you look? Please. Uh, not everybody gets the chance to talk about the cameras, you know. I'm a private person, can't you it's understand? It's very odd indeed that he quite clearly refuses to talk about his job. Look, stop filming, will you? Look, I told you in there, I'm nothing to do These with it. These people here it's are making a documentary the about this man here look, against his it. will. Or oh, they'd be allowed to get away with this, or should there be some kind of law respecting his privacy? This is the subject of This tonight. man here is making a documentary about these people here invading okay, the privacy of that man there film. by it's making a documentary. Boy. And this hi, shove off. And this highlights a growing problem here to go away. A growing problem here today. Too many documentaries, not enough subjects. Here. In the headquarters of BBC's documentary department, documentaries are being made every few minutes. But let's not talk about that, because right now, I want to sing. <laughs>